Hello, I'm Dr. Margaret Stuber. I'm a researcher with UCLA Johnson Cancer Center. I wanted to speak with you about a study that is coming out in pediatrics. It's a study of over 6,000 childhood cancer survivors who are now young adults. We looked at uh, whether or not these uh, young adults were suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder that is a response to the trauma of going through a life-threatening illness and having symptoms such as uh, nightmares, uh, avoidance of traumatic reminders, and um, arousal or irritability. What we found was that in these young adults who were survivors of childhood cancer, uh, they were over four times as likely to have post-traumatic stress disorder with significant clinical distress or functional impairment, that is really um, things interference with their life function, than a control group of their siblings. We found that indeed having more traumatic or intense um, medical treatment um, during their cancer experience was predictive of people who were having these symptoms so many years later. We also found that people who had post-traumatic stress symptoms were less likely to be married, to be making more than $20,000 a year, to have finished uh, schooling beyond high school, or even to be employed at all. What we're not sure about is whether the, those uh, factors, like being married, um, could be protective so that those people who were married were, more, were less likely to develop um, post-traumatic st stress disorder, or if the symptoms themselves interfered with these kinds of life functions. This is important because post-traumatic stress disorder can be treated, and if we can identify people who are at risk, we can possibly prevent this kind of uh, symptom from happening later, and that definitely if we can identify it, we can treat it um, and be helpful to these people. We are now, um, as a group, the Childhood uh, Cancer Study Group is looking at um, a later diagnosed group of childhood cancer survivors to see if some of the uh, less um, traumatic kinds of treatments that we do now are going to be better for the emotional and functional uh, status of our childhood cancer survivors in the future.